Dear students, welcome to your favorite channel, EME Education Made Easier, a channel just for you. And today I'm here with the summary of the chapter, The Making of a Scientist, written by Robert W. Peterson. Before I begin, I would just want to thank each one of you for your support and love that you've shown to our channel. Thank you for all the positive feedback. If you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe the channel. And if you like the content, do give us a thumbs up. Richard H. E. Bright, at the age of 22, stunned the scientific community with his innovative theory on cells. This article was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. For Richard, this success started with butterflies. Richard E. Bright grew up in reading at Pennsylvania. As an only child, E. Bright collected things like rocks, fossils and butterflies to amuse himself. By second grade, E. Bright had collected all 25 species of butterflies found in reading. E. Bright's interest in butterflies might have waned after the 8th grade had it not been for the book Travel of Monarch the X. The book charted the migration of monarch butterflies from United States to Central America. At the end of the book, readers were invited to study butterflies and tag them for research. Inspired by the book, E. Bright decided to tag his own butterflies. However, the butterfly season in reading was only six weeks, which made it difficult for E. Bright to tag many butterflies. So he decided to breed monarch butterflies in his basement. Then in seventh grade, after losing in the county science fair, E. Bright learned that real science was about experiments rather than displays. His competitive spirit was kindled and he wrote to the author of The Travel of Monarch X, Dr. Urquhart, for ideas. In 8th grade, E. Bright tried to show that a species of beetle was responsible for a viral disease afflicting the monarch caterpillar. Though his project didn't yield tangible results, E. Bright did win an award for efforts. In ninth grade, he tested the theory of how viceroy butterflies copy monarch butterflies for their survival. This time, he achieved success in the county science fair. In high school, he thought of a simple question that would have life-changing implications for his career. Richard and a fellow science student worked on a device which would provide the answer to this question. This project gave him a chance to work at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. It also got him an entry into the International Science and Engineering Fair. He continued working on this project, which won him the first prize at the International Fair and gave him a chance to work for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. As a next step in the project, E. Bright grew cells from the monarch's wing to expand his theory. Next summer, after completing his first year at Harvard University, Richard went back to the Department of Agriculture. He succeeded in identifying the hormone's chemical structure. Following this, he discovered how cells could read their DNA. Peterson states that if Richard manages to prove his theory, it will revolutionize the understanding of life and life's processes. While working on expanding this theory with his colleague James R. Wong, E. Bright also graduated from Harvard University. E. Bright Peterson writes not only is a gifted scholar but also a debate champion, an all-round sports person and an expert photographer. While competitive Richard also believes in giving the best effort that he could, his scientific curiosity coupled with an intelligent mind and a will to win has given Richard every opportunity to become a brilliant scientist. Peterson believes this combination makes for an extraordinary scientist. That's all for today. In case of any doubts or queries, you can drop us a message on Instagram or you can also drop them in the comment section below. I'll revert to them as soon as possible. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.